news conference to discuss the financial speculation tax. The financial speculation tax is an idea whose time has come. A small levy on all stock, bonds, and derivative trades raise easily $100 billion a year to be used for priority purposes. Today we have a broad coalition that's going to be talking about different aspects of the financial speculation tax. I think one of the things that's interesting about this is the, the breadth of the coalition, uh, parts of which are represented here. The interest in the twin goals of curbing outrageous Wall Street speculation and a bloated Wall Street sector, and also raising money through a progressive vehicle that can be used for important public policy purposes. Uh, we've got six speakers, so we'll run through them quickly. I will introduce each of them um, in advance. We have to sort of navigate a difficult, narrow terrain, so it'll be time for me to jump up as they maneuver. The first speaker today is Damon Silvers. He is the Director of Policy and Special Counsel for the AFL-CIO. He is also the Deputy Chair of the Congressional Oversight Panel and has been one of the keenest and most important critics of the, finance, the, of the Wall Street bailout and of the issues around financial deregulation. So we will start with Dana. Thank you, Rob. Uh, Rob said, I'm Dana Silvers. I'm Policy Director and Special Counsel for uh, President Trump of the AFL-CIO. Uh, I serve as Chair of the Congressional Oversight Panel, I'm speaking here on behalf of the AFL-CIO and not on behalf of the panel. Um, September of last year, uh, President Trump had signed a letter sponsored by the Aspen Institute uh, together with uh, Pete Peterson and Warren Buffett, a number of American business and financial leaders, on uh, encouraging long-term time horizons in the U.S. capital markets. The first item, uh, the first substantive proposal uh, in that letter was that Congress ought to look uh, at a financial transactions tax. Uh, not for, uh, although I th think revenue issues and budget issues were on the minds of many of the signatories to that letter, but the primary purpose uh, that the letter sought to encourage the adoption of such a tax uh, was uh, to encourage the shift of savings uh, from essentially short-term purposes uh, to genuine investment which is, what, after all, what the capital markets are supposed to do, move savings to investment. Subsequently, um, we have become uh, enmeshed in a global debate about how uh, to pay for repairing the damage uh, done to the world's economy uh, by uh, the runaway financial sector uh, and by the profound failure, uh, mentioned in many different respects, of the financial sector to do the basic job of uh, moving uh, savings uh, into productive investment. Uh, that debate is going on uh, in our country and also Congress uh, around President Obama's proposal for a bank levy. It's occurring at the International Monetary Fund, at the European Parliament, and the European Commission, truly all around the world. And the momentum in that debate uh, has clearly is clearly shifted from the point where. Uh, the financial transactions tax was something discussed in a sort of, sort of academic sidebars to where it is at the very center of the debate. And um, there's no more powerful evidence uh, than speech given uh, a week ago at Cambridge University in the United Kingdom uh, by Lord Adair Turner, the uh, director of the British Financial at uh, the FSA, uh, where he where, on the subject and to an audience of Nobel Prize winners uh, on the subject of what had gone wrong in economic thinking that had produced the financial crisis, the conclusion of that speech uh, was that uh, there was clearly excess speculation in the financial market, there was clearly economic harm coming from that excess speculation, and clearly financial speculation tax, which is called the transactions tax, uh, is an appropriate response. The European Parliament similar resolution last month, uh, and I am here uh, on behalf of the AFL-CIO, but also uh, speaking uh, on behalf of the International Trade Union Confederation, representing over 150 million workers worldwide, uh, and on behalf of the Americans for Financial Reform, a coalition of 200 organizations uh, devoted, committed to a comprehensive reform of our financial markets and accountability for Wall Street, to say that a financial speculation tax kind that Rob mentioned a moment ago, a small levy, basis points, hundreds of a percent, uh, on all financial transactions, is now a critically necessary step, A, to move capital markets from speculation to investment, B, to find
fund cleaning up the mess. What does cleaning up the mess mean? Cleaning up the mess means not just, uh, not just uh, the question of the monies expended for TARP, uh, but the profound hole uh, in our employment markets, in our labor markets. 11 million missing jobs, uh, and the hole in the demand in our economy, the need for further government action on jobs, uh, which, is, which is the primary uh, public policy uh, goal of the AFL-CIO, uh, given in, in light of uh, what, what will otherwise appear to be sustained 10% levels of unemployment. And finally, uh, setting uh, the fiscal, uh, setting the fiscal uh, landscape of the United States uh, in a place where it's going to be possible uh, to address the profound uh, deficit that we have uh, in public goods, starting with our nation's infrastructure. $2.2 trillion in money is not invested just in order to keep even that we need to address. That does not get at the challenges of climate change, uh, of, smart, of, elect of electrical smart grids, universal high-speed broadband access, challenges that must be faced in the years to come that have to be paid for. Um, the, so the financial transactions tax, the financial speculation tax, uh, because it can generate these types of revenue, it can, it can generate revenues commensurate with the problem, because it can do so in a fair manner, in relationship both to the distribution of wealth and to who caused the problem, and most of all, because it will move our capital markets in the direction of investment away from speculation, uh, is at the, at the very center of the policy response that is necessary both in the United States and worldwide uh, to, the, to the financial crisis and to the long-term challenge uh, of building a sustainable uh, global economy. Thank you.